hadith says إِذَا مَا تَبْنُ آدَمًا قَطَعَ عَنْهُ عَمَلُهُ إِلَّا مِنْ ثَلَاثِ if a, if a person, a human being dies, all his deeds are cut off from him besides three things. What are these three things? One is knowledge that he may have disseminated. Two is a charitable deed that is a continued charity that he may have given somehow benefiting others. This is productivity. To learn is productivity, but more productive than learning is to put into practice and disseminate. That's why in Islam, it's not only ilm. But it's ilmun wa amal wa da'wah. You need to learn, you need to put into practice, and you need to call others towards it. Convey the message. Allahu Akbar. I always tell the sisters, you know, when you go to a home and you find, mashallah, this cake was beautiful. So, you know, sometimes a man might come back and he might say, hey, I went to this house of my friend and, you know, there was a lovely cake. So, uh, let's not get into negatives, but let's be positive, inshallah. So, uh, lovely cake. So the wife says, okay. She messages the, 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 the sister there and says, my husband says the cake was very nice. What is the recipe? A lot of women will say, it's my secret. <laughs> it's a secret. Where is productivity? You might die tomorrow morning. Your cake is gone with you. Allahu <laughs> Akbar. You'd rather write your name on it and say, this is a beautiful cake. I tried 20 different cakes. This thing came out. Here's the ingredient and so on. You bake it in the sun, not in the oven. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> and then if you had died, people will make the cake later. They'll remember you. But imagine that issue that's being dealt with is not a cake, but it is something developing your link with Allah. When you die, they won't only remember you. You get a reward for it, whatever they do. And when they make a dua for you, you get a reward for it. So these type of things are what will benefit.